Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I want to talk about textures, specifically procedural texture patterns. And again, this will not be a hands-on tutorial, so you don't need to follow this. You can just watch this with your coffee or with your lunch. Um, and I will go ahead and show you some techniques that I use daily uh, when I need to create something cute and cozy um, with some procedural texture patterns. So let's jump right into it. And I have this scene prepared right here. Later, if you want to try this on your own, you can just go ahead and download this. Um, um, the link will be in the description. So um, let's say I want to create a really cute stylized texture pattern for this kind of a wooden chair. So let me just select the chair here and I will bring up the shader editor and create a new material there. And I already created some simple um, lighting with just the area light over, over the scene. So we have some nice um, big light with soft shadows and let me zoom in closer on the shader. So the way I go about this is to use the built-in procedural textures right in the shader editor. So if I press Shift A here, I can bring up some textures and one of them is a wave texture. And this is specifically great for um, stylized wooden pattern and things like that. You can see there are some configuration options where you can use bands, rings. And if I preview this with Node Wrangler, add-on you can see this is how it looks when i preview the node right on the object by the way if you want to use this kind of preview um, you can just go ahead into edit preferences and in the add-on section just search for wrangler and activate it right here and now you're able to use Control shift you know click through different node outputs and preview them directly on your object and here i will switch this to diagonal um, and basically play with distortion which is like the main thing that will help us to create something resembling a wooden pattern or something like that and then i'll probably reduce the scale a little bit here and then use a different mapping and i can just press ctrl t here on the wave texture and they'll bring up mapping and texture coordinate node and i can switch this to object so we'll get more uniform result across other objects so if i now go ahead and add the same material here you will see this works nicely. If you're just starting Blender and you have a hard time following all the tutorials, be sure to check out my courses as well, where in addition to all the step-by-step -step instructions, you also get an in-depth explanation of all the steps and all the tools, and you get to learn everything from simple low-poly design all the way to full character illustration, textured environments, a little bit of sculpting, even hard surface modeling. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description. Now, basically, I can just bring in a color ramp node and compress this and you can see as I go with the sliders closer I get rid of the blurry parts and create this nice definition and this kind of looks like a vector pattern that you would use as a texture image um, but here this is completely procedural you can you know play with the scale with the amount of distortion you know and things like that and here I will go ahead and reduce the detail roughness a little bit and I really like this part so let me just move all of this to the side and now I will just use the mix color node and plug this into the mask and what I like to do here is to control shift click the principal shader for a while and find some base color that I really like for example something like this and then control C over the color and paste to both slots here then connect and now select the B color and use the slider to just to find that different shade something like this for example and here's your first cool stylized texture and we can reduce the roughness for example and you can use this on whatever you want i even used it on complete environment when i wanted um, the whole design to be really stylized and uh, really illustrative. I use this on a ground, on leaves, on trees, um, whatever basically. So yeah, this is the way how you can set it up and then you can kind of just duplicate the material and change the variables like the scale and distortion and stuff to create different variations of the same material. Now, another thing you might want to create is something more regular, um, like a dotted texture for um, for a tablecloth or something. So let's just go ahead and select all of this here. I'll press Ctrl C and I will create a new material there and just paste this here and basically use the same setup, just replace the texture. So let me press X here 
and I will bring up another type of texture and this will be the Voronoi texture and here we can preview what that does um, and at first glance it looks really irregular something that looks quite random um, but at the same time really cool so you can really use this um, to create um, different kinds of random dots all around all around the place um, and different things as well um, for example if you change this to distance to edge you get completely um, different different type of texture so really um, just dig in play with those textures change those types and experiment um, with the different results but here I want uh, just basic polka dot design so I will choose the F1 and let me preview the texture and I will reduce the randomness and now you will see this is more regular um, and I will plug the vector in here and basically I will use the UV texture here uh, because I really want this um, to be flat on the surface and now we only need to preview this and basically find find the range on the ramp which works the best and we can switch this to 2D now the rest is about playing with the scale and of course you can play with the rotation as well so we can rotate this 45 degrees for example and now we can again play with the color so let me switch the material here and modify the color I will increase the roughness here and add a little bit of sheen for some extra reflections here on the side and maybe tint it a little bit like this now I will copy this right here but here I will use only the white color and just plug this in and there you have it there's your dotted texture now if you want to flip this you can just use the invert color and plug it right here and you have the whole thing inverted and now just for this to be complete let me apply the same material there as well and let's take care of this vase and here we can try to demonstrate another type of the procedural texture so let me just create a new material here and again I will just select this and carry it over so we can just replace the texture right there so let me delete it and let's use the good old noise texture um, by itself this doesn't look like much um, basically looks like you know cloud or smoke but the moment you start to play with some of the settings um, you will see um, this has more in it than it seems on the outside so for example if we switch the algorithm here to reach now this is looking quite interesting so let's plug this into the color ramp and let's try to bring out the details here I will need to go all the way towards the left with the black color and now I'll try to compress this a little bit here and of course um, instead of linear you can use constant color stops here with the gradient they'll make it much more easier to create this kind of really hard etched um, texture type so yeah let me plug this in and let me plug the object coordinates and yeah something like this looks great so again this is only about like connecting this to your material and basically now playing with the color with the roughness and other stuff and you can really create something interesting like this and again I really like um, to use these textures and then use this either constant color stop or really compress the color ramp um, to create this high definition results that resemble vector patterns and that really helps to create these kind of vibrant illustrative patterns and really can give you interesting results so um, just go ahead play with those textures and with the color ramp on them um, and with the mapping combinations to see what you can come up with and different combinations of these texture patterns and i really hope this was useful to you and if you enjoyed it please leave the like and leave a comment what you want to see next in a short video quick tip like this thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day